I was gonna give it a little, uh, what the fuck? Yo, what's going on, guys? The Lewis Arts here, and bring you a new tutorial on the three dimensional triangle effect in Photoshop. This is for your backgrounds. Anything you really want to do, you can make regular pictures. As you can see, I used it in my background style for 2D, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, we're gonna start with a new Photoshop. So, I, I usually do 1920 and 1080. That's, uh, that's the one I usually use. Now, you don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, I just prefer it. I usually just put it black. Um, anyways, don't just ignore that. I just unlock it because I have OCD and I don't like it locked. You're going to want to make a new layer right there. And let's see, we're going to put one right there. Right there. Let's try to get it straight across. I'm going to hurry for. You don't have to make it straight across, but. Um, see, so you're going to go to fill path and then color. And then let's say. Just a rat there, red, I guess you could say. And I do it a different way than most people actually do it. Um, I don't know why, I just do. So, I mean, whatever. Okay, so then you're gonna want to make a um, new layer, I think. And then just go straight down and then out and then. Now, actually, I'm going to try to make it cleaner this time, so let's see if I can do it this way. I'm trying something new, so I don't know if this will work. Alright, let's get rid of this. I'm going to try to do it from the tips, so it's clean. Now, actually, you probably want to zoom in when you do stuff like this, but... Probably help. And then just go straight up the triangle. There we go. Okay, fill path. And it depends on where your lighting is going to come from. Um, I'm just going to say it's coming from the way we put it. And there, so that section right there is going to be darker. Okay, so new layer. Um, and we're going to start from here. Go to here, to here, to here. Okay, that don't look even now, does it? I did mine a different way for that background you just saw, but I want to do it. I saw someone else do it like this before. I learned how to do it like this, but I forgot. But we're going to try to do it. Okay, and then you're just going to make it darker and hit OK. Oh, okay. Well, that was a lot easier than what I was doing. I'm just an ass. Okay, so now you just want to shift merge layers, and you got one triangle. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I like to do it just to be more organized. I'm going to name that triangle. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and hit Control J. And just copy a bunch of them. Now, I would turn on Show Transformation Controls. It saves you a bunch of time. Um, and just shrink them, basically. Uh, rotate them. Don't make them too even. Like Make like one maybe like that. Okay. And then like the rest of them, just don't make them too perfect I mean it's just gonna throw it off okay shrink that and then rotate it like something like that may it'll probably work it'll look fine and then I keep wanting to hit control T to tr transform make a really small one and then make it upside down and there's that one and then Oh, I did it again, fuck. And then just another, a smaller one. And then, let's see, where should we put this one? Put it right there. I think I'm gonna copy just two more. And let's see, we're gonna rotate that one, make it smaller, and put it right there. Okay, and we're going to take this one. We're going to make this one really small. I'd say about right there. And if we can grab it, fuck. This is, you're just going to sh 
turn this fucking shit off. Okay, and then just duplicate this one. Yada, yada, yada. Show transformation controls. Rotate it a little bit. Make it a little smaller. Put it like right here. Get another one. Let's say this one. Control J. That's to copy it and duplicate the layer. Let's just put it right there. Okay. So now we zoom out. We got. I mean, it's not the best thing. <laughs> obviously, it's just showing you what you can do. Just mess around with it. Now you just hit merge layers to create the whole thing, and then just hit Control J a bunch of times, however many times you want it. And I, oh fuck, I didn't know I had to zoom line. Now just move one over here, shrink it down a little bit, rotate it, yada yada yada. Take this one, shrink it a lot, and then rotate it. And then after you finish that, you're going to want to grab the next one, shrink it. I think I'm going to leave it a little bigger, put it in this corner with a rotation to it. And yeah, that's basically all I'm going to do for that one. Um, if you want to, you can add more, but I don't think I'm going to add as many this time as I usually would. Um, this I'm just showing this for tutorial purposes. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and merge the layers. And as you can see when you put it in there, um, it's obviously going to go up. But if you can use the pen tool really well, you should be able to cut off the extra thing if you don't want it. Like if you're doing it like I did. Um, I do have another one that I did. I don't know which one it was that I did. The triangles for my background. Uh, I believe it was this one. Yeah, you can see. You can do stuff. It's, I mean, it looks nice and stuff. You know. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this right here. Um, if you want to get rid of this stuff, just you know, right click with the pen tool, hit Make Selection, and then come to the magic wand. And I, you know, there's probably an easy way. I probably just did it the dumbass way, but I don't care. Um, this is actually really easy. If you want me to show you, like me dragging it in there and everything. I mean, I, it's not gonna look good now. Since I'm doing it like this, but you know, you you can see how it's gonna fit into the background. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you, you're gonna do this. Um, I wanna go ahead and take this time and say, at 100 subscribers, I'm gonna have an exclusive pack with a bunch of stuff for definitely 2Ds. Um, I guess I can have 3Ds. I don't really do many 3Ds, but um, if you wanna learn how to make like a really, really professional 2D background, I can probably do that. Um, I'm not the best, but as you can see, I'm getting better, <laughs> a lot better than what I used to be. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial on how to make the triangle three-dimensional figure and Photoshop for your backgrounds or pictures, whatever. Um, a lot of people probably have known this, but for the people who didn't know this and are just now finding it, this is, you know, this is for you. This video is for you. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Leave a like and comment. Um, subscribe and state what the fuck. Stay tuned for next tomorrow's video or the next day's video. Whichever one's to come. And I'll see you later guys.